मालविया मिशन टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एम एम टी टी सी इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी आई जी एन टी यू ऑर्गेनाइज ए फैकल्टी इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम ओरिएंटेशन प्रोग्राम फॉर न्यूली रिक्रूटेड टीचर्स इन डिग्री कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ फेबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टू नाइन्थ the program's objectives were to orient the faculty on various generic aspects of teaching learning instructional methodologies assessment and evaluation techniques ict based teaching and learning etc professor mushtaq ahmed patel was invited to deliver a talk during this program the presenter used polls everywhere during the lecture to enhance interactivity this video presents the live recording of the lecture it will be useful for teachers of higher educational institutions and research scholars so let us jump directly into the lecture where professor mtv nagaraju director mmttc dean education igntu is welcoming the speaker development of uh... many <coughs> committees and uh, make them to be sustainable in lively functioning so that is the basically very functionally he is acting as his role in the central university of karnataka as well as uh, manu also i am very closely observed that he is always be supporting uh, uh, many persons and he is also a member secretary of the uh, idea indian distance education association and uh, every monthly he is organizing uh, online lectures uh, from various parts of the country and inviting the members uh, of the <coughs> body and uh, giving how the distance education is flourish and how it will be reaches to the uh, unreached fellows so that is uh, his uh, uh, ideology and uh, uh, he is uh, doing his level best to be make the distance education to be good in the country so with this small uh, introduction i welcome you sir for this uh, just uh, session and today as per our uh, schedule sir is going to be <coughs> and let us on uh, ict based teaching and learning because uh, his, his books are uh, two three books are very familiar and uh, uh, these two books also be in other countries there be references as a curriculum that i was observed from the net also so that is the greatness of professor mustaq so with short this introduction i welcome you sir for your august together and recently our vice chancellor also admired because he is our invited special lecture on education day which was held on recently and our my chancellor is uh, asking him don't be call him uh, online you, you, if time permits uh, call him as a physically we will be listening to his lecture uh, so always he is admiring his lecture so i am thankful to you sir so now i am handing over the sessions to you sir thank you thank you, thank you sir uh, for nice words uh, you are a great friend of mine for long time Uh, we have good association we have collaborated on various educational aspects uh, right from your days at b r ambedkar open university where you were dealing the entire education department and now you are elevated and you are head dean and uh, director of various positions it's my pleasure uh, to be a friend of yours and uh, thank you for inviting i also acknowledge that uh, your vice chancellor was kind enough to invite me uh, for uh, national education day uh, which we planned very at short notice and it was a successful program i have kept the video on my youtube channel uh, which is liked by many and viewed by many uh, it's my pleasure always uh, i have a pleasure one one more pleasure that your former or first vice chancellor yeah. uh, professor tv kattimani uh, was our colleague at brm uh, manu and uh, more happy that uh, we are staying in professor tv kattimani's uh, quarters only uh, now from where i am doing this program joining this program 
professor tv kattimani i am mentioning in two capacities today and remembering one because uh, uh, he was my colleague and your vice chancellor secondly because uh, he is member of the national education policy uh, which we are going to discuss today uh, and uh, while discussing uh, i will just uh, share my uh, this one uh, window so that uh, yeah uh, if it is visible kindly let me know uh, no no it is not visible just share it yeah it's coming sir it's it coming, is coming sir yeah uh, now uh, the thing is i i want to make this interaction as an interactive uh, in discussion so i'll be asking few questions also uh, when i pose slide so that i'll take your inputs uh, participants have joined i want to know uh, from you all uh, what is shown in this picture your perception of the picture a teacher in the classroom teacher is teaching in the classroom what kind of classroom it is Teacher center. There is no classroom. Chalk and board, ma'am. The conventional chalk and board, sir. Chalk and board. Yeah. Conventional. Okay. Okay. And uh, what students are doing? They were listening carefully what teacher is uh, teaching actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, is teacher paying attention to all? No, it's very impossible. Is it colorful? and uh, it, uh, very bright classroom no lines no. okay this is one situation okay second situation look into this class what difference do you find uh, yeah, teach proper ventilation lighting and... okay yeah. proper ventilation lighting And, and uh, attention also we can see yeah marker uh, and different types of teaching methods they were using means uh, a tool they were using while teaching okay different tools are being used okay so here mm -hmm. uh, this uh, presentation is being made here interaction is being made here uh, a smart board is used and presentation is made here a teacher is in a village remote village but he is teaching through mobile isn't it now uh, teaching is not confined to the classroom alone people are joining through online also isn't it children are joining through online okay now these two situations i am going to discuss i am going to discuss today from confined learning which takes place in the classroom with lot of restriction to bound boundless exploration beyond the classroom ict opens the door this is what i am going to discuss today uh, before i uh, disc start discussing just want to know from you uh, i want you to introduce yourself from where you are okay so for this i am using a mechanism it is called polls everywhere this poll for this what you have to do is you have to make use of this qr code if you are log if you are logged in to a computer you can go to uh, your uh, take your mobile and scan qr code or if you are using suppose for example mobile then i will give you a link okay okay yes is the link visible now in the chat box i think it is visible go to your chat box click on the link which i have shared you okay i want to know from uh, from you from which cp have you joined this program in one word give your answer in one word okay 
any difficulty did you all get <clears throat> somebody has joined from delhi okay one word answer if your place is called mehboob nagar right one word okay any other name you write only one word uh, means put both uh, words together and write yes one person has joined from delhi how about others andhra pradesh i told you uh, give only one word andhra pradesh as one word okay from andhra pradesh also there are people right anybody else i am going to make use of this so see <laughs> madhya pradesh also one word should have been given two people have responded this is making word cloud uh, whatever word is used most number of time it is indicating in a bigger size <laughs> madhya pradesh pradesh is used twice then odisha odisha also there are people okay you can write your city or state or any identification all right so let us go to the next can we go to the next there are three persons from amarkantak also okay we'll go to the next slide in today's discussion it's a big agenda which i'm uh, placing before you i am going to discuss about ict takes us beyond the classroom this is my main agenda of discussion to build this agenda uh, what i am going to do is interactive presentations by using polls everywhere i am going to make this interaction uh, this uh, presentation an interactive so i am going to use polls everywhere one response you already given similar questions four to five questions will come and charts also through charts also you can respond or you can talk to me over voice i want to discuss what why and how of ict especially in education what why and how of ict in education ict in the sense computer components i am going to discuss as a stand alone computer as well as internet connected computer then i am going to discuss ict in education its meaning uh, teaching in teaching and learning and evaluation it can be used it can be used for theory and practical of all the subjects at all the levels these things agenda is quite huge lot of things are there, there to be discussed examples of some icts for school education i'll uh, i'll put before you i'll discuss with you nep and ict which is more important for us because you are attending an nep program what are the important takeaways uh, from nep with regard to ict that we'll discuss and if time permits we'll do some hands on experiences uh, of use of ict what is ict my first question is what is ict related to this since teaching is involved i want to know from you what is teaching and learning what do you mean by teaching what do you what do you mean by teaching and learning just scan this qr code or go to the uh, chat box i have shared this link click on that link you will come to this slide if you already click refresh this slide is going to appear you can write a sentence or a phrase or a paragraph what is teaching and learning uh who is talking somebody is speaking please mute your mic name it is not showing to me what is teaching and learning somebody is saying it is a collaborative approach 
somebody says that it is a process. Teaching and learning is a collaborative approach because two parties are involved. One is teachers, another is students. Students also collaborate among themselves. Teachers also teaching different subjects can collaborate with each other. Teaching learning process is a collaborative approach. Teaching and learning is a process. Process because it is ongoing. Product you can check through evaluation. So it is a process. It is sharing and gaining of knowledge. Somebody is saying it is sharing and gaining of knowledge. Yes, through teaching and learning, we share and give knowledge, gain knowledge. So I think a few more uh, people will respond. But because of positive time, we will just move to the next slide. Teaching and learning. Why we need to use ICT in teaching and learning? Okay, this may come to your mind. If we are discussing about ICT, information communication technology, why it has to be used in teaching and learning? Because <clears throat> there is increasing access to ICT at educational institutions. <clears throat> we saw a traditional classroom. We saw a modern classroom. Traditional classroom may have a radio or a television or one computer, which is an ICT tool can be used for teaching learning purposes. And modern classrooms may have plenty of gadgets which are to be used. Means access to ICT is increasing on all the educational institutions. That is why it has to be learned. Uh, why ICT has to be used. Policies, various policies are framed in India. For example, NEP 2020 is one policy which is urging teachers to use ICT, which is directing teachers, urging teachers to use ICT. ICT as the focal point, the mo most of the time what happens, ICT becomes a focal point and teaching learning goes to the periphery and revolve around. Like, for example, ICT is occupying main place here. Teaching learning is going to the sideways. Because in this, I'm giving an example. This uh, may be correct or may not be correct. It depends on your perception. We are giving secondary status to teaching and learning. We are giving primary status, uh, status to use of ICT. The ICT is in focal point. Teaching is in periphery. This is not desirable according to me. Because content and its transaction is more important than the use of technology. That is why I am saying here, whereas digital technology, just uh, technologies just support uh, traditional teaching pedagogies. Whatever we are doing, teaching and learning in the classroom, that is our prime concern to which Digital technology will just support. Okay. If it is supporting, we should know what are the components of ICT. First of all, what is ICT? When we talk of ICT, ICT covers any product. Any product it covers, which will store information, which will retrieve information, which will manipulate, means addition, deletion, uh, say, for example, if a word file is there, you can insert an image. You can type one page so you can manipulate the given information. You can store the information. Word file you can store on the computer. You can, after saving, you can retry it back whenever you want. You can edit. You can transmit to others or receive the information from somebody. These are the ICT tools electronically in a digital form. If ICT is used to store, retrieve, manipulate, transmit, and receive informations, then what are the components of ICT? There are two components of ICT. One is information technology. Information technology. Second is communication technology. This is communication technology. This is information technology. Information technology, what does it include? We get information from various sources like radio, television, computer, internet, 
uh, many other uh, sources help us to get, gain the information. Teleconferencing, mobile, these are information technologies. There are communication technologies also. Communication technologies are further classified into satellite-based communication and terrestrial-based communication. Satellite-based communication, we get information directly through satellite. A television program is broadcast to the satellites. From satellites, we get signals at our residence. We get connected to our mobile through satellite. Whereas in landline connections or cable connections of television, terrestrial-based communication happens. So communication technology depends on satellite-based communication and terrestrial-based communication. Why we need ICT? in teaching learning. I will discuss two things about teaching learning as well as education. Why we need ICT in teaching learning? It is, ICT is useful in teaching. No device is created for any specific purpose. Television was not created for education purpose. Computer was not created for teaching purpose. Mobile was not created for sharing of assignments. Whereas we adopt to it. ICT for teaching and learning, it is used for teaching. Radio, television, computer is useful for teaching. Diagnostic testing and remedial teaching is also possible. You can give a test to the student based on his age level, based on his mental status and identify what are the areas he is weak through ICT you can do. You can develop reasoning and thinking. You give more problems, he will develop, start developing reasoning and thinking. In the games also which children play, they develop reasoning and thinking. Instructional media development is possible. You can develop audio programs, you can develop video programs using your uh, computers. You can evaluate the uh, students using the ICT. You can do psychological analysis of the learner. This is possible using ICT. If this is the case, I want to know from you what ICT uh, tools you are using. There is a survey. Click on that. Two questions I have given. One is pertaining to which device you are using. Second, there are two questions. Just respond to that. I would like to see. Have you responded? surveys completed. Okay. Uh, it is not showing here, so I am trying to go to the website to check it. Three survey completed. Good that you uh, become interactive. Yeah, I'm trying to check what responses you have made. Four people have responded. Good. Uh, I may not be able to show you, but uh, I'll just give you a brief idea. Uh, respondents are saying that do you have a smartphone, a smartphone at home? 100% people are saying that they have smartphone. Okay. Second question which I was asking to for uh, today is what equipments are you using 
for today's meeting. 25% of you are using mobile of the respondents and 75% of the respondents are saying they are using laptop. That's a great information for me. I will go ahead with the next. Yeah. Somehow it has stopped. Okay. Now I'll go to the next slide where I'm discussing about educational uses of a computer. Educational uses of a computer. What computer is useful for educational purposes? Uh, briefly, mo most of you are using uh, with this presupposition, I narrate that you can use the computer for testing of the students. You can tutor the students using the computers. Repeatedly, if you give exercises, then the mental abilities of the students will be developed. For calculation of marks or totaling of marks, preparation of results, you can use as a calculator. Uh, the computer. You can use the computer as a laboratory. You can uh, give them uh, access, uh, some experiments which can be done over the computer. You can produ uh, produce teaching learning materials using computer. This is also an educational uh, use. Dissemination of material is possible using uh, computer. You can archive material uh, by storing it into the computer. This computer becomes a medium of expression. Overall management of learning, when to uh, conduct the classes, when to the, give the material, when to uh, conduct the examination, publishing of the result, etc., is possible using computers. If computer is so much useful, what are the different multimedia types of multimedia which can be uh, which a computer can give as a standalone computer say for example our computer can bring us talking books or speech synthesis it can give us the talking books can be heard on the computer in olden days we were using story books on cd uh, cd roms so cd roms can play can be played on standalone computer as a multimedia audio can be played and we can hear not only audio visuals also can be played computers can play simulation in addition to the text material in addition to the audio material simulation also can be played we are, computers can play video and video discs Standalone computers can be connected. A text can be underlined and it can be connected to other text. It can be connected to another video or another audio. So hypermedia can be used. This is all about standalone computer. When it is getting connected to the internet, it, its horizon increases. We can easily contact with other persons. We can refer encyclopedias like Wikipedia. We can read the news using the computer, same computer which was standalone, now can get connected to the news. We can uh, connect to schools and college products, uh, projects we can do. We can make use of computers with the internet connection for online learning purposes. Multimedia can also be used. Communication can also be established using internet via computer. Learning from home is possible using internet uh, uh, through computers. Online discussion can be held. These are the educational applications of the internet. These are the uh, uh, uses of computer multimedia, which is when computer is standalone. Standalone also 
text, audio, video, multimedia things can be used. But when it is connected to internet, its potentiality uh, goes exponentially. What are the different computer uh, components, IC2 tools? There are some tools which we call as hardware. There are some tools, ICT tools, which we call as software. When we talk of hardware, we think of computer des desktop, laptop, LCD, DLP projectors, mobiles, audio tools like speakers, microphone, whiteboards like in uh, whiteboards and interactive boards, Bluetooth devices, tablets, television, touch screen, monitor. When we talk of software, we think of internet, website, browsers, cloud storage, Diksha for education, Scratch, GeoGebra, ChatGPT, books, Moodles, etc. Same thing I have asked in a form of question. Now, here is a question which is visible to you and it automatically comes on you, gets loaded on your screen. I am asking, giving you some option. Uh, from these options, you have to uh, order them. Which of the tool you have used the most? Okay. Uh, which of the following hardware have you used uh, for teaching? You might have used computer, you might have used LCD, or you might have used whiteboard, or you might have used touch screen, or mobile, tab, tablets, audio uh, tools, speakers, microphone. And once you have completed, then you submit your response will appear on my screen. It will be in the form of order, which device or hardware you have used the most. Look into all the options and then submit. If the order is correct, okay. If the order is not correct, you can uh, just push the uh, your preference to the top level. First preference. Yes, I'm waiting for your responses. You can just order and push. Here yeah, some responses have come. If this is the final, then we will uh, discuss based on this. Our respondents of today's meeting say that they have used the computer or desktop for teaching most. Okay, it is dynamic, it is changing. Now, uh, whiteboard and interactive board, which was last uh, earlier, uh, is being used most of the time. Okay, this has got first rank because most of you are preferring to use whiteboard and interactive board. Uh, the, your second option is television, touch screen, monitor. Your third option, which you have ranked is, you are using mix of various devices. Your fourth option is computer, desktop, mobile. If I will uh, remove this mix of various devices so that uh, specific devices will come. Third option is computer, desktop, you are saying. Mobile, you also you are using for teaching. LCD projectors are also you, you are using. Tabs, you are using. The least uh, which you are not uh, using less is, it appears as of now, it is none. None is the last means uh, almost all of you are using something or the other. <clears throat> uh, audio uh, tools and speakers are also coming down. Means uh, radio, uh, radio you are not using, then tape recorder you are not using, <clears throat> then musical instruments alone you are not using. This is what it says, Bluetooth you are not using. Highest which is being used by you is whiteboard. Let us go to the next. Yeah. Uh, it is not a new thing that I should tell you what is a computer. Computer uh, uh, you are using, laptop you are, ma you are making use. It's a storage device and you can use for teaching learning purposes. Projector will project, whether it is LCD projector or a dig, uh, digital 
DLP projector, uh, it is going to project your content on the screen. So this is projector is uh, whatever is present on your uh, this one uh, laptop or computer will be projected on the screen. Mobiles, which we most of us are using, will uh, is also a ICT tool which stores information, which retrieves. If somebody's phone number, if you want to uh, retrieve, you can retrieve. You can change the name of the person. So manipulation is also possible. And then same thing, number can be communicated to others. So it is an ICT tool. Similarly, audio tools by using Bluetooth speakers can be connected. If you are in one room, you are talking to uh, other, uh, you are connecting uh, to other instrument using Bluetooth. In uh, cars also, using the Bluetooth, you can uh, connect to your mobile. You can use microphone. Whiteboards is also most of you are using in your classes, whiteboard or interactive board. You can take a printout, you can save the uh, information. So that is possible. Tabs also like mobile, you are using tabs also. Television has not uh, is not only a display monitor, it can be a touch screen also, input device, you can touch and give the information. In the newsroom also, uh, you might have seen most of the uh, journalists using television, touch screen, uh, screen television. Similarly, good uh, presenters and teachers like Hansar are also using touch screen for presenting their content. So it's a ICT tool, which is used for teaching learning purpose. <clears throat> I'm going to the next. And now, uh, next question, again, you have to order. I'm asking you, uh, this is also ranking your choice. Till you uh, rank, I will take a sip of water. Similar way as you have done earlier. I have tried to categorize these things under cloud-based tools, video sharing apps, AI web-based apps, social media apps, educational apps, MOOCs program, website of books like Project, uh, Project Gutenberg, National Digital Library, which you have used the most. I'll wait for some time because again, some more responses will come. A couple of minutes. Last one, which our participants of today's function, uh, today's meeting, which you are given last choice is, uh, educational apps like Diksha, GeoGebra, Wikipedia, Scratch, Firki. Maybe because you are higher education teachers, that is why you are not using these. If we talk to uh, primary teachers or secondary teachers, then they give this option on the top. M maybe possible. It's good that uh, you are using less number of social media apps like Facebook, Twitter, because academic people concentrate on academic websites. Uh, now you are using <clears throat> AI websites like Gemini, Chat, GPT, Copilot. That is also good. Uh, okay, it is changing again. Diksha, yeah, it has come up from the last position which I discussed. So it's a dynamic thing as you go on. YouTube also, uh, Vimeo is also another kind of uh, uh, YouTube which is being used. I've given only a few examples. Don't consider these as an exhaustive and final list because every news channel has got their own uh, hosting platform like YouTube. So you can directly go to DW channel and see their documentaries. You can go to BBC channel and look into their, uh, uh, this one videos. There are various platforms, but a few popular things I am trying to share here. Uh, first two I will read. You, uh, video uh, sharing apps you are using the most. And good to know <clears throat> that MOOCs also you are using. 
to the maximum extent. Yes. Let us go. This is what we are envisaging in uh, I, I, this one, national education policy that our teachers should be using these websites, these tools. Yeah. Did we skip many or? If your system uh, goes slow, then this happens, you see. Some of the slides got, yeah, this we saw. And let us look into ICT tool, tools or softwares. Uh, just now, which you have seen, <clears throat> same thing I'm putting here. Uh, internet, we, we are using. Websites, we are using to access uh, through browsers. Uh, to access a lot of information. Anything we want for academic purpose, we Google it uh, to uh, get the information. We keep our material on the cloud service uh, services. Like I told you, uh, Google Drive is one. One Drive is another. iCloud is another. Where we keep our Word file, Excel file, then PowerPoint presentations or any other data which we can retrieve later on. Diksha is the platform software for school education, where content related to primary, secondary education of state and central syllabus is kept. Similarly, Scratch, GeoGebra is pertaining to mathematics. Uh, uh, mathematical calculation and mathematical content can be transacted using GeoGebra. E-books are kept. E-books in various format, like PDF, word processor, or Kindle format, etc., are kept in Project Gutenberg. e gamkosh is another example of Ignore material, uh, repository, where Ignore's material is kept. MOOCs, MOOCs are online uh, courses or programs, which uh, are kept on Moodle or Swayam. is the platforms where MOOCs, massive open online courses are kept. Means plenty of courses are kept. YouTube is another uh, platform where educational as well as entertainment as well as informative videos are kept, which can be utilized. Wikipedia is one digital encyclopedia where uh, the, the which contains repository of various materials in different languages. We have got content in Indian languages, content in English or European languages. All languages, there are material. Earlier, we used to keep encyclopedia, huge encyclopedias in our library and homes. But now there is no need. We can uh, use the material here. But be cautious that whatever you are referring, original sources are given in the Wikipedia. Confirm your information through the original sources which are indicated there. AI tools also, chat GPT. Now BARD is called Gemini, Gemini and Copilot are a few examples of artificial intelligence tools. When you ask a question, if you ask to a friend, he will respond. Similarly, when you ask a question to a computer uh, through chat GPT, BARD, etc., then they respond. This is uh, another Khan, uh, Khan Academy. Khan Academy also stores a lot of uh, video channels and uh, text material, which is used for you. And uh, Khan Academy is, uh, has, he was started by Salman Khan, who is a Bangladeshi, uh, settled in Western countries. But he was teaching his uh, niece through online. Then he started recording the program, and now it has become a huge reservoir. Lot of academic material is available. Similarly, Coursera, etc. Here, Khan Academy does uh, does not contain only Bangladesh syllabus. It contains Indian syllabus material also. In India, we have got various state boards which are also offering their courses. Uh, some of those courses, our uh, material is also available. 
Firki is another uh, uh, reservoir which contains uh, uh, learning materials that learners can access anywhere at any time uh, to learn at their own pace. So these uh, softwares give us information 24 by 7. Earlier, we were learning only 10 to 5 formal education. Now, learning is 24 by 7. We can learn anywhere, anytime. So this is another question. Uh, okay, what? which of the following apps do you use? Yeah, since uh, I had moved a uh, little ahead, probably by then you have responded because this uh, was active. Uh, which of the following apps do you use on your mobile? Uh, you say that Google Meet, uh, only 4% are of you are using. Your uh, all responses are divided into these categories. Four percent of you are saying that Google Meet you are using. Social media like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter you are using eight percent. Finance related apps like Google Pay, Paytm, mm, uh, you you know, etc. Sixteen percent of you have said that you are using. Educational apps like GeoGebra, Diksha, Scratch. Uh, you are using 12%. Newspaper, strange to see that none of you are reading news from the uh, uh, mobile app. Uh, okay, because we may lack the uh, information, that is why it might have happened. Uh, pictures and images, uh, you are using camera, photo app, 20% of you. Video editing, which is the topmost app being utilized by you, like Kind Master, Microsoft, uh, Clipchamp, YouTube, etc. Uh, you are using 24% of you are using. Maybe you uh, see this data is pertaining to only the given options. Most of you might be using YouTube. That is why the number has enhanced. Kind Master and Microsoft Clipchamp, you might not have heard also or might not have used also. There is possibility that one option may enhance your result. That is also possible. AI uh, apps like ChatGPT, BARD, which has become Gemini now, uh, Copilot, etc., also being utilized by you. None of the above. I, there is no respondent who say, uh, said that he has not used any of the above. Uh, it's good uh, to see you all responding this way. And uh, yeah. So uh, responses are not accepted at this time because uh, I'm using, uh, here it is saying that activity is full, responses are not accepted at this time uh, because uh, I'm using a free uh, website, uh, polls everywhere. That is why it is not accepting further responses. Uh, system has become slow. That is why uh, after activity, it is hanging. Okay, the mobile apps I saw and discussed with you. Um, uh, Google Meet is one platform which we are using for meeting today. It can be Zoom, it can be WebEx, or it can be various other uh, secured uh, online platforms. Uh, most of us post our uh, information through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Uh, my purpose is not to describe all those things, just to share, uh, pre, uh, presupposing that some of you might be using some of the websites which are categorized under social media. Finance apps, phone pay, Google pay, Paytm, you know, you know is a SBI app uh, which we are using. Educational apps like G Shala, which is in Gujarat, E Part Shala, which is of NCRT and other uh, GeoGebra, et cetera, you might be using. Uh, news apps like Diksha, Divya Bhaskar, Hindu, uh, Indian Express, e Nadu in Telugu, uh, maybe the website, uh, newspaper apps, which can be used by you. Not only Indian newspaper, foreign also you can subscribe and use. Pictures and images, you can use photos to crop images, to enlarge it, to give, change the background, PixLab, Google Lens also you can use to know, uh, convert one text from one language to another or to know the name of a particular 
uh, equipments or instrument, you can use Google Lens. Uh, your video and editing uh, softwares like camera, your mobile camera, uh, wherein location also can be shared, date and time can be shared, you can use that. Filmora, Clipchamp is another editing option which can be used by you all. Then AI picture is another uh, app. Artificial intelligence can also be made use of. So now we saw that what is ICT? What are the different components of ICT? How ICT is being used uh, for teaching learning purpose? Where ICT is being used for educational purpose? We saw that what are the different hardwares? What are the different softwares? We saw what are the different uh, mobile apps. So these are things we have seen. Now, with this knowledge, I want to tell you that ICT takes you beyond the classroom. Classroom, Kotari Commission had said in 1964 and 66, the destiny of India is being shaped in her classroom, 1964 and 66. In their introductory uh, page, they had to, uh, told that uh, classrooms are very much important. Schools are very much important because our destiny is being shaped in four walls of the classroom. But now you see students are not restricted to four walls. Students, uh, I'm talking about the classroom instruction versus ICT-based instruction. Classroom instruction is based within the classroom, 10 to 5, only one teacher or few teachers given the textbook, given the uh, teaching learning material. With that only they have to learn. They will not get, not get new exposure, new teacher won't come. If English teacher has to, uh, of the school, whatever kind of language he has got or whatever pronunciation style he has got, the same language teach, uh, children have to listen and adapt. But now English can be learned beyond that teacher. They can see the experts talking on audio or video material and they can learn. They can uh, be in touch with friends, share their homework. Say, for example, your own children, you just see, they are sharing their uh, homework through WhatsApp. Now, class, beyond classroom also, teaching learning is taking place. They can talk to, children can talk to their relatives beyond geographical boundaries. Uh, if you are located in India and your uh, relatives are abroad, then you can talk to them by using ICT, information communication technology. Uh, that talk will not necessarily be uh, entertainment purpose. For academic purpose also, your children can take guidance from uh, their elders who are staying abroad. So now uh, the scenario has changed. 24 by 7 uh, learning is taking place. You can refer educational material beyond the textbook. Beyond the textbook. Earlier, textbook was the only rail on which train was running. Now, you have got a lot of opportunity. You can learn from various material using the internet. You can uh, design, tailor-made the learning, like based on the age, based on the stage, based on the individualized learning. That is why most of the times I say, now four corners of computer, monitor, or mobile device, take the child to the entire world. What Ari Commission was saying that four walls are restrictions. Now these four corners are the scope of learning. This is my perspective. NEP 2020 recognizes this. That is why we I am going to talk about NEP in a few minutes. Before I, when I am talking about use of ICT, I am propagating, I am asking everybody to use, make use of ICT. But in this situation, when I am asking you all to use ICT, I have got some questions in my mind, which are of importance. Like there is disparity between among haves and have nots. We talk of poverty in India. We give free bees to our society. That means our uh, society is not rich enough to procure or purchase 
uh, very uh, sophisticated gadgets like smartphones. There is difference between haves and have-nots. Digital divide is there. Some are having digital access, some are not having access. Some people cannot access their in their own language, some people can access in their mother tongue. So that digital haves and digital have-nots, when there is a gap, how we are going to overcome? This is my first question. My second question is, if at all you provide digital uh, gadgets to all the people, then how you are going to orient them? How you are going to orient illiterate parents, uneducated parents, or teachers who are educated but do not know how to make a use of digital device in the classroom? Students, if they are given gadgets, how you are making to uh, uh, tell, how you are going to tell them how to use. If at all you tell, then whether they are using properly or not, who is going to monitor the learning gaps? Some may use gadgets for learning purposes. Some may use gadgets for entertainment purposes. So there also, that is also another question which is in my mind when I talk of ICT-based education. Then another question which comes to our mind is, radio came, the era has gone, now there is no more radio. Television came, now the, we used to like to watch, sit together and watch some programs. Now that era has gone. Now ICT, uh, we are talking, whether ICT is also going to pass away and we are not going to have ICT in future, that what is going to be the future of ICT is also another question which is in my mind. I have told you about ICT in teaching and learning. Similarly, briefly, I will tell you that ICT is also useful in grading your students, keeping them in different grades. You can give assignments to the students using ICT. You can keep a track of the attendance of the students like in today's meeting, how many people are attending? I can keep a track using ICT. You can give interactive assignments where teacher and taught can talk together, uh, student and student can talk to get, uh, together. Individualized learning. If six standard student is there, then six standard level uh, uh, assignment will be given or teaching content will be given. If degree student is there, the content according to his age and stage will be given. If a gifted child is there, content according to his age. Individualized learning is possible. For that, diagnostic testing is also possible. You can diagnose which area of mathematics your child is weak so that you can provide test. Computer-based testing. ENT is also conducting a lot of examinations you are seeing. Test based on the... Uh, cre uh, test creation and management based on the question banks. NTA is also developing a lot of question banks and you might be part of the group where you are developing. So your question uh, questions will randomly be used. Lags together questions will be there. Any user, if prepares lags together, probably he'll, uh, he will come uh, get the good marks. So that means uh, preparation is also more and it cannot be leaked out. Software also, we need to check whether our software is useful and uh, we have to test. Hardware, before the examination, whether it is suitable, we have to test. So these are the precautions also we have to take. A data analysis also to be done. Modeling and simulation is uh, possible and image analysis can be done. Some of the school subjects, I had a lot of discussions with the resource persons of the schools who are directly in touch with uh, uh, teachers and uh, working in the ground level, they suggested that a lot of uh, ICT tools are available for school level. For example, they said uh, for science, there is HET, there is Diksha, there is Zishala, Scratch, OLAP, Khan Academy, Shala Mitra, Smartphone, Agastya, Swipchat. I was interacting with Maharashtra and Gujarat resource persons. So they have listed this. I am bringing only for your information. When you go back, you may have taken a screenshot I'll, or I will place the uh, PPT on my blog 
you can refer and you can just practice these things. Similarly, mathematics also, uh, we have got G Shala, which is for, uh, of Gujarat, GeoGebra for mathematics, Khan Academy for all the subjects, Shala Mitra, Ma Math Magic, YouTube, Vama tool, which is gi uh, giving you a hardware uh, where you can get from, Photo Math, Open Board, Interactive View Board, Maze, Math Box, Code.org, Coding website. So you can use this for teaching mathematics. Similarly, for language learning, read along. Bolo app, read to me, Scratch, G Shala, AI Picture app, ORF, language learning app, Swift Chat, Duolingo, uh, Lingo, Duolo, uh, Duolingo, uh, Basini, English Box, Interactive Storytelling, Reason Me, Lexicon, Story Weaver are some of the apps. Some of the interactive testing apps also, polls everywhere which we are using in today's interaction. Kahoot is one, then Mentimeter is another, Google Form, which most of you might be using. ICT and technology in NEP. Now, uh, I'm going to specifically focus on national education policy and look into what it is saying about technology and ICT. When we are talking about ICT, it mentions about uh, seven or eight times regarding ICT. Uh, it is, uh, information communication technology has a say in the national education policy. When national education policy is talking about adult education, it is uh, highlighting that we should use virtual learning for adult education. We have to, if uh, devices are not available, it is suggesting that use satellite-based television channels, online books, and ICT equipped to libraries. Uh, uh, NEP is also saying that identify digital platforms uh, meet the uh, which can meet the current and future gen, uh, challenges. ICT is not saying that whatever are available, use it today. It is saying that in future also those should be useful, uh, such a, uh, uh, platforms we have to make use of. In addition to th uh, this use of ICT, uh, it is talking about technology use in integration. Entire chapter is dedicated for this. Online and digital education, ensuring equitable use of technology. This is another chapter which is dedicated for use of technology uh, in uh, this one, national education policy. Now I'm coming to uh, uh, technology. What NEP is talking about technology? Because we uh, have to discuss about national education policy with special reference to technology. Technology it is talking about use of technology at all level, primary level, secondary level, higher level. It is talking in uh, school children, out of school children. It is talking about school going generation. It is talking about adults uh, to whom education is, uh, has to be given. It is talking about teachers. It is talking about students, technology, how technology has to be used. It, uh, technology, uh, when uh, mentioned in uh, uh, this one, NEP, it is talking about general student population and uh, special children population also. Here it is saying about DVANG students. The, for DVANG or special children, it is saying that assistive devices have to be given. If somebody is hearing impaired, it is suggesting that the policy is saying that they should be provided with devices. When it is a policy, that means it becomes the responsibility of the government, responsibility of the teachers. Assistive devices for hearing, assistive devices for weaving, assistive devices for various senses. So it can be assistive devices will be provided for the young children. And if the young children are there, then their parents and caregivers are also be trained. That can also be uh, made use of by using technology. When you are talking about a blind child, blind child, he has to be given education. He cannot read from the text. So computer has to give him audio or printer should be such that Braille, uh, Braille printing should take place and he has he can touch and feel the content what is written in the textbook. The same text which is appearing on our screen, which we can read, 
printer will print in a braille script and the child can touch and learn. So for the young children, technology will be used. Technology will be used for teaching and learning of different languages. See, India is a diverse country. We have got so many recognized, so many unrecognized languages. So everybody has to be given education. And for that purpose, uh, technology will uh, come to rescue. So uh, a high quality translation has to be made. Even now we are using Google Translate and other translation tools also, which can be useful. Education technology has to be integrated in beard education. Beard, uh, for beard children, you have, uh, you have to uh, integrate. And integration uh, will be, uh, integration of technology will be there for 6 uh, uh, to 12. Age, uh, 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 6 to uh, uh, what we call pri primary till uh, higher secondary. All the school, uh, children will be given education using technology and technological facilities will be there. Higher education institutes uh, will have technology development centers. Each higher educational institutes should have now Department of English, Department of Physics, Department of Chemistry, uh, such departments are there. But in future, we are going to have development technology development center as one department. Somebody will be taking care. Suitable resources and infrastructure has to be provided for uh, these centers. And that will become a responsibility. Like we get funds for library now, you will get funds for technology development centers and you have to establish that. In classroom, uh, you can uh, need not have only general classroom. You have to equip the classroom. A smart classroom, I discussed in the beginning, I showed you uh, various components. Such classrooms have to be uh, built in India. And for this, who is going to uh, play the role? For technology integration, government is going to play a role. The non-governmental organization are going to play the role. Government means state government has to take the responsibility. Central government also has to take the responsibility. In uh, the uh, equipments will be arranged in crowdsourcing format, like public-private partnership. So, so you can involve uh, uh, crowd, uh, general public also to develop the uh, to integrate this technology. Teacher training, I, I as you know, most of us were not familiar with the use of computers for teaching before pandemic area, uh, before pandemic era. After pandemic, we all got used to use computers for teaching purposes. So training of teachers is also required, uh, which can be done through Soyam and Diksha, which are the educational platforms. When we talk of technology, technology is influencing all walks of life. It is affecting our day-to-day -day knowledge, it is affecting our health, it is affecting our uh, kitchen, livelihood, everything. When it is affecting all our walks of our life, it is affecting sociology, it is affecting psychology, it is affecting language teaching, it is affecting science teaching. Every, all disciplines are affected by this. So no more technology is related to only engineering colleges. Now it is, has to be integrated in all the disciplines. Digital India campaign, we, we are talking, we are talking that India is a global leader. That means there is a responsibility that digital India campaign has to be done. And uh, dig, uh, the digital devices have to be integrated in education. When we talk of teaching and when we talk of technology, we think that use of technology is great. And, but it is teaching which is great. That is why the national education policy says that there is a bi-directional effect. Teaching is going to affect technology and technology is going to affect teaching. So those, both are going to affect each other. It is suggesting few areas. 2020, the policy was submitted. Still pandemic period was there. But during that time, what it was talking, we are seeing now. Artificial intelligence, it has suggested. Machine learning, blockchain, smart board. Uh, handheld computing devices, adaptive computer testing, student uh, development, uh, other forms of educational software and hardware. It is giving scope for other latest technology also which are going to come. 
that has to be used. Further, uh, it is saying that a national te educational technology forum, a national education technology forum will be established at this center, which is going to be an autonomous body, which will enhance learning assessment, uh, which will enhance learning assessment, planning, administration, and so on. All the aspects of teaching learning process it is going to affect both at the school level at the higher education level. What is going uh, this forum is going to do? It is going to advise both state and central government. It is going to build capacity among the teachers and the taught and all the stakeholders. It is going to identify the thrust areas. It is going to give new direction for research and innovation. These are the functions of the National Technology Forum. It is going to be an autonomous body and it is going to work on these areas. So this is uh, an important observation made by NEP. NEP, uh, when it is talking about technological intervention, it is talking about teaching, learning and evaluation. Uh, it is talking, uh, which is taking place in the classroom, teaching, learning, teacher preparation and continuous professional development. New technology comes, teaching provision should be also be there. Educational access should not be restricted to only a specific uh, population. It has to be made available for all. That is educational access. Educational planning, it is talking about, for planning purpose also technology has to be used. Management and administration, like admission, attendance and assessment also has to be made by technological intervention. You might be aware of the summer intervention at higher education level. Now admissions are being made using the Samarth portal. Uh, educational softwares have to be made available in all Indian languages. Uh, we are talking about uh, official languages, which are 22 in number. For all uh, educational softwares have to be made available. Diksha and Swayam are the uh, reservoirs for teacher, teachers, training of teachers as well as students. And the programs in that will be rated by uh, uh, viewers. Like our YouTube program will be rated as good, bad, or can be improved. When Zomato, Zepto, Ola, Uber give you service, you rate the app as well as you rate the driver also. Means each program also you can uh, rate. That is how accountability will increase and good quality will be produced. Disruptive technology, we talk of 1986-92 policy. Uh, there was no such situation that disruptive technology was uh, required. But after, uh, uh, during the pandemic time, when we uh, saw that the classrooms were suspended and we had to use the alternative emergency mode of teaching, then disruptive technologies emerged. Artificial intelligence has come. 3D, 7D has come. So we have to uh, use technology. Further, teachers are trained. B.E.D. they have done, D.L.E.D. they have done, they have done some teaching learning programs. Now they have to unlearn those things. First they have learned, unlearn, and new uh, learning has to take place. Relearn. Specific observation is skilling. We have to skill the teacher for use of technology and de-skill them to learn new technology. We, uh, policy is saying that you start doing PhD and master's program in use of technology. It is talking about, it, it is saying that, that data is a key fuel for AI-based technology. Your students' data is going to be, which is huge content, is going to be a fuel for your use of technologies. Online education should be used as a blended way. So blended means uh, part of it should be online, part of it should be offline that is in the classroom. So we have to blend. Pilot studies and research uh, and researches have to be done, which have to be notified for the public. Like NETF, I was talking, a National Education Technology Forum, it has to conduct some researches like device addiction, which is uh, most of the time seen in the children. So uh, research has to be done and the, it has to be made uh, to the public for use. Digital infrastructure has to be created. And when national policy of 
national education policy is talking about this, then definitely we are going to see the improvements in a digital infrastructure in our schools, colleges, and universities. Virtual labs have to be created and uh, which can be accessed through Soyam, Diksha, uh, Soyam Prabha is a uh, television channel. Wherever computers no are not available, internet connectivity is not there, their uh, television-based programs through Soyam Prabha can be seen. Digital repository, it is talking use of gamification, and it is saying that Indian art and culture has to be promoted by this gamification in multiple languages, all the languages. Uh, and that, that is the way uh, that uh, uh, diverse city of India can be collaborated and extended. Um, address the digital device. Uh, if you are want to address the digital device, if uh, you are not able to reach through internet connection, you reach through radio connection. If uh, uh, possible, try to reach through uh, television network, which most of the uh, villages are also having. Finally, uh, the NEP is also uh, telling that training and incentives for teachers have to be given, uh, which is nothing but high quality online content creators can be uh, used for training. Of, uh, if anybody is uh, developing high quality online content, then such teachers should be given in incentives. Good quality work has to be recognized. Assessment, assessment can be done through, uh, assessment and examination can be done through new agencies like PARAC, school boards and the NTA. The NTA is doing now net examination. It is testing. Similar way, Parak is going to assess the school children. Blended mode models of learning have to be utilized. It is not that only classroom models have been utilized now. Blended models have to be utilized. Establishment of IITI, Indian Institute of Translation and Interpretation. When Indian Institute of uh, Translation, uh, because uh, the NEP sees that uh, India is a multilingual country. Uh, the number of books which are available in English are not available in local languages. That is why there is a need to translate all the material or uh, interpret all the material in local languages. They are suggesting to form Indian Institute of Translation and Interpretation and which is going to take up translation works of all the academic content in local languages. Uh, using the technology. Finally, uh, what uh, uh, NEP is saying that use of technology is a journey. It is a journey, not a destination. Technology, we say that now we are able to use computer, good. That is the final thing. No, computer will have new programs, new contents. We, it is a journey, part of the journey. Huh? Then uh, we have to orchestrate means like in our orchestra, few musicians will be there. One will be playing tabla, another will be playing piano, another will be uh, somebody, uh, different uh, uh, equipments they use. We amalgamate to create a soothing music. So like that, various media, multimedia have to be integrated. A dedicated unit it is suggesting uh, at the national level. Uh, which will create digital infrastructure, digital content, and capacity building. You see, digital infrastructure is required. Unless and until there is a television, you cannot see the programs on the television. If a television is given or a computer is given, then it will become an idiot box if the programs are not there. So it is saying that digital content has to be provided. And if digital content is available, uh, like uh, GeoGebra is made available. The, if the teachers are not able to use GeoGebra, then it is not useful to give a, uh, what is that? That uh, hardware also and software also is made available. Training is not there, then useless it becomes. So we have to create a capacity building. We have to uh, make uh, the school and higher education, uh, the programs, all these things, facilities have to be created for higher education as well as school education. 
uh, we cannot keep them in silos. We have to give uh, technological facilities for all. Solve India's challenges. Uh, NEP is saying that we have to solve India's challenges. Uh, which are the challenges? We have got a uh, scale, massive population, scale, diversity. Population is diverse, not a uniform population. Equity, somebody, some people are haves, some people are not haves. Haves and have-nots, equity has to be created. So it is saying that you have to look into this. Finally, it is saying that the uh, center or the forum which are, we are going to create will look into administration, education, educational technology, digital pedagogy, assessment, and e-governance. So, so these are the things which I, it is saying in national education policy. Uh, is it uh, clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. I'm happy. I'm happy that you liked it. Uh, do you like to try a hands-on? Uh, polleverywhere.com. We can check polleverywhere.com if you want. Uh, just now I asked you a few questions, no? Those questions uh, you can frame yourself. Online polling you can do, surveys you can do, question and answers, quizzes, word count, and many more things you can do. Shall we try that? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me go then. A uh, few minutes are left. That is why uh, I had two exercises to be done. But uh, instead of two exercises, I will do only one or two. Uh, only one I will do. All everywhere. See, this is the address. In the bar, you can write polleverywhere.com. Just log into that, polls, polleverywhere.com. I will post the link in the chat box. Is my, uh, this one window visible to you? Is my chat visible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Poll everywhere has you have come. How many of you used to poll everywhere? I have entered into to the website. First time you when you log, you have to register yourself. Okay. All right. Suppose if you want to do an activity, those who are working on computers can do this. Are you following me? Are you along with me? Because most of you are doing on laptop also. Yes, sir. Now we have to register, no, sir? Mm -hmm. You have to register. Could you do that registration? Doing, sir. Doing this. After registering, you can go to activities. Yeah, I am uh, just going slow so that you can register. Uh, we have got very short time. Okay. Uh, let me show one activity as, at least. I am clicking on activity here. Just see, there is a box with plus sign. Activity is written. So I am clicking on that. After I click, it is saying that multiple choice question can be asked. Word cloud can be asked. Like I asked you from which place you have logged into. So you had written about your state or your city. 
question and answers can be asked. Clickable image, like I have given you mobiles. A mobile uh, in a survey, you, I had given you two questions. This is a survey question. A, under survey, I had given you a clickable image. You clicked smartphone or you clicked old phone. Open-ended questions. I gave you a question like what is teaching learning? You wrote in a long sentence. This is open-ended question. Whereas in word cloud, you have to write only one word. Here, open-ended, you have to write full. When I asked you for a one-word response, uh, when you wrote Andhra Pradesh, I asked you to write only one word, Andhra Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, I asked you to write Madhya, uh, only one word, Madhya Pradesh. Not two words, Madhya and Pradesh. So, uh, whatever uh, largest response comes, that cloud will be generated and that will be shown. Uh, so, uh, so, suppose uh, if I ask you, how was today's program? Let me ask you this question as a multiple choice. How was good? Okay. Additional option. Not, not good. Huh? I am asking it to create. I am quickly going so that uh, we can, uh, I can demonstrate you one activity, how it has to be created. Uh, now here, it can be edited if you want to edit. You can check the response history or you can delete. You can activate this question. And after activating, you present it. Now I'm presenting. Look into your, this one, uh, all the uh, response which, where you were giving on pollev.com and you can respond to this. How did you find today's training? You can respond to this. Your responses will be appearing here. Did you get the question? You can refresh, you will get the question. Okay? Is sir, it let all us, right? Sir, let us, let us respond for the same. Yeah, how, yeah you then, can respond. Sir, you how? can respond to this. What is your feeling about today's program? Just taking your, uh, this one also, feedback also. You are responding? Only one okay. minute? Yeah. See here, here only one response or 10 responses or 25 responses. If everybody is saying good, it is going to give good. How many have said good? How many have not said good? It cannot be. If suppose two people respond, one okay, one good, then 50-50% it will indicate. But it, again, it will not say whether two persons or four persons or eight persons or six persons, because it is dividing half. So this is how uh, interactivity will be built into. So that is what I tried to build in today. And uh, finally, uh, let me conclude. That I am not taking this Mentimeter because of positive time. Uh, these three statements I would like to share, uh, two from uh, National Education Policy. The relationship between technology and education at all levels is bidirectional. I have discussed with you. A good teacher in a traditional classroom will automatically be a good teacher in an online cl classroom. It is a myth. If you are a good teacher in the classroom, it is not necessary that you will become a good teacher in online. Online requires additional skills of technology. But I'll assure, assure you, based on the premise given by George Porus, technology will never replace great teachers. But in the hands of great teachers, it is transformational. These are the things uh, which I wanted to share exactly 
uh, uh, we have come to the closure. I thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to discuss with you. If you want to access my PPT, you can go to this academicpapers.blogspot.com. If you want to access national education policy, you can go to this. If you want to see my previous videos uh, delivered for, uh, for a faculty development program at other institutes, you can go to this. And uh, with this, I thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity. Sir, excuse me, sir. sir please share these links in that book. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will share probably. Uh, it might have come now. I will share, sir. Huh? So thank you, Maya. Very nice presentation and hands on experience of this uh, ICT tools, uh, how it will be used as present. Because all yeah. our uh, depends upon nowadays Google Forms, uh, but uh, pool uh, everywhere also one of the other tool which is very useful for taking the opinion and uh, identifying how the ICT was explored and how ICT was open for all the persons. So you are well narrated and well explained for our uh, uh, participants and uh, even uh, how to, uh, in further, I will be take a class from you also, not for me, and for this papers, how to use their blog spots, uh, how to uh, upload their videos, uh, how to use social media for the academic uh, endeavor and the caliber and uh, promotion also. That is very important because people are uh, using social media only for the uh, sake of entertainment and creation and uh, some other purpose only. And they are watching others only, but not how they will be developed and how they will be used for our extensive activities. That people are not, <clears throat> nothing be knowing. So I extended from your support uh, in furtherly also. So with these small things, I thanks to your uh, <coughs> very, very wonderful lecture today uh, morning. I, if anybody having any queries, just you can ask with uh, sir and you can clarify your uh, doubts. Or not if you have any doubts. Yeah, uh, uh, I have one small doubt. Shall we, this uh, pool everywhere can be used as a documentation for the ICTA uh, infrastructure facilities available in the institution? Uh, Polls everywhere is an interactive tool for a presentation. During your presentation, you can make use of, but unlike Google Form, uh, it cannot be circulated offline to everybody to collect the data. During your presentation, uh, if you want <clears throat> to rank order some of your statement, you can do that, or you can ask yes, no type of a question, or you can ask a cloud type of a question, <clears throat> word cloud can be created. That can be done during presentation. And uh, okay. Uh, this free version is available for a very small target group. If our uh, group is beyond 100 or 500, then it becomes difficult. Only yeah. 25 or 50 can be handled using this. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. And just like e-portfolio, like this, we can be used as is this one. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Your wonderful presentation. Here. We look forward to you for further also. Thank you. Thank you, Rupert. Thank you for giving an opportunity. It was a great no, 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 no. It is my <laughs> privilege. <laughs> uh, participant we have already with us, uh, the other research person, uh, uh, he joined already. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, T. Prabhakar Reddy. Sir, are you ready, sir? Prabhakar Reddy, sir? Yes, yes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Prabhakar Reddy, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. How are you, sir? Fine, fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This YouTube channel provides educational, technological, research insights, motivational and organizational videos. To gain more insights and participate in the program, like, comment and subscribe the channel. See you soon.